Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to be gauging how much power my car is making on an MHD Stage 2 Plus tune, 93 octane. The car has downpipes, uh, DCIs or dual cone intakes, and um, an intercooler. And beyond that, uh, nothing else is done to the car. So I've already done this once before when I installed my uh, aftermarket intercooler. I was running an unknown Stage 2 tune at that time which would target around 7 or 8 PSI at redline. Uh, this tune actually targets more like 12 to 13 PSI. It feels quicker, uh, so I want to get a baseline now that uh, I'm going to be installing a set of inlets on this car. Uh, it's cool out, it's January in Houston, so we're going to be in the high 30s, low 40s in the evening. Um, we're going to see how much power this car is making using virtual dyno and data logging via MHD, which I'll show you here. Um, this is going to be our baseline prior to installing inlets. So all in all, if you have basic bolt-ons, including an intercooler, downpipes, and dual cone intakes, that's what most people do on a 335, then um, if you're curious as to what type of power you'll put down with an automatic transmission and um, MHD Stage 2 Plus with uh, 93 octane, uh, no ethanol, or E85, just straight premium fuel, then this video will be helpful to you. Or if you're curious to see what type of uh, increase uh, inlets provide on a car like this, then uh, you'll see a follow-up video to this showing before and after to see how much power we pick up. So before we go out on the road, let me show you guys what the inlets look like. Kind of hard to see, I haven't really unboxed these yet, but I went with uh, MMP, it's a local, um, uh, company here in uh, the Houston area. Uh, I went to pick them up actually, so I saved on freight and whatnot. But these are the stock side or a factory location inlets with the stock uh, 1.75 inch turbo snout. I'm not planning to upgrade turbos on this car, mostly because I don't think the transmission could handle the type of power that uh, upgraded turbos could, would make. But that's the kit there. It comes with the two uh, tubes comes with the clamps and uh, fittings to either cap off depending on if you're running uh, your factory diverter valves or not or whatnot so I'm looking forward to picking up some power with these I'm excited to get these installed and to do a video showing installation of these it's going to be quite involved but I plan to tackle that soon so let's go get a baseline so the way I plan to data log is via MHD using a K plus DKN USB interface cable. The car hasn't gone to sleep yet, so at this point, as soon as I plug in cable, it should go right to MHD. So what we want to do is do auto logging. I'm set up with the tablet connected to the car, car is running. We're going to go do a pull in third gear from about 3500 RPM to redline and it's going to save a data log file on the actual tablet which I'll export to my computer and use a piece of software called Virtual Dyno to get a pretty good at representation of what the car is making in terms of power. Um, I've shown this before on my channel but uh, for now let's go for the drive. Hopefully you guys can make that out. Right now I'm reporting an ambient air temperature on my gauge cluster of 41 degrees and IATs from the intercooler are 54 so that seems about right, you know, 15 or 20 degrees above ambient is typical. So we're going to turn over into sport mode. Are similar. 
supposedly they do help you pick up quite a bit of power so um, it should be noticeable regardless but I'll try to keep as close to the same conditions as possible looks like the weather for the next few days is pretty similar so I'm hoping I can get them done uh, in the next few days so now that we got that data log stored on the actual tablet let's go load it up on the computer and see what the car is reporting all right we're back let's go interpret that data keep in mind this car has 182,000 miles on it actually at this point as you can see so it's a very high mileage car and, you know these n54s are strong they seem to hold a lot of power and they seem to handle miles no problem which is good even though there's a lot of little fiddly things you got to deal with over time to keep them maintained well, all in all they're pretty robust but at the same time if you're wondering if you get a intercooler downpipes and cone intakes and get the stage 2 plus tuned from MHD what type of power to expect you know if your car is not as high mileage probably do even better than what we see here but let's go take a look all right I've uploaded that uh, CSV file and loaded up a virtual dyno uh, look this up if you haven't heard of it before you can take a data log from MHD flasher and upload it to the software and it'll actually give you a really close representation as to how much uh, power your car is making it uses the acceleration it kind of tells from the excel file that uh, data log software made how quick the car is based on knowing your weight and all a bunch of different variables so here's what we have as a baseline at the wheels technically this is supposed to be at the wheels um, 413 torque peak horsepower 368 which is somewhere here right here so that's peak it's very linear very smooth it's a pretty nice uh, graph actually tons of torque down low I guess 413 wheel is going to equate to like upwards of high fours at the crank and so yeah 368 a very linear smooth graph it looks really nice actually for an off-the-shelf tune that's quite impressive I must say but here's my run after installing my intercooler back in March on my Dynan stage 2 tune I believe so peak horsepower is actually 382 peak uh, torque was only uh, 373 so it's picked up a good 40 foot pounds of torque this was peak here now we're here so as you can see the area under the curve on the MHD stage 2 flash is way better than what I had here was my horsepower before it was kind of wavy and then it peaks right here but all along the curve I have this pretty meaty uh, extra amount of torque and it only gets close here widens up here and then right near red line whatever I had going before seemed to make a little bit more horsepower at the wheels but my torque was a little low actually the torque kind of held off there could just be an unknown variable but from what it seems like this new tune is biased toward torque um, and a linear graph so here this is whatever I had on my car after my intercooler you know, not a bad graph, but still, it could have used some work, it looks like. And here is my new MHD Stage 2 tune. So, as far as I was told, my car has a had a Dynan Stage 2 tune. And uh, this is an MHD Stage 2 Plus uh, 93 octane tune. And it looks to be biased toward torque and a nice smooth linear torque curve. So, this video is going to show you guys kind of what to expect. You know, I've got 180,000 miles on this car, so keep that in mind. Uh, really, you should be doing a little bit better if you're under 100,000 miles. But 368 horsepower and 413 wheel torque. I'm going to follow up with an install video on my inlets, and we're going to compare before and after to see what changed do we go from 368 to high threes with the inlets i wonder where that torque's going to go because that's quite high is it going to be up in the 440 range you know let's see 
so thanks for watching and look forward to my next video on installing inlets.